And today is the Friday edition of the show right here on ABS TV. My name is Chidima Oranwa. And our topic this morning is civic reception of His Eminence Peter Ebere, Cardinal Obaleke by Commandery 434 and the Lux 363 KSJI of St. Patrick's Cathedral, Oka. Uh, you can recall that uh, Peter uh, Cardinal Peter Obaleke has been the Bishop of uh, Ekulobia Diocese since April 2020. And uh, in last year, that is um, 27th of August 2022, he was uh, made a Cardinal by Pope Francis. So today we'll be looking at the civic reception of his eminence. We have with us in the studio this morning, Savine Otiba. He is a worthy president. 343. I hope I'm correct. Yes. <laughs> You're welcome four to the show. Four. Okay, 434, right. 434. You're welcome to the show. Thank you. And we also have Reverend <coughs> Father Levi Oko. Uh, he is the spiritual advisor at Commandery 434 and Lux 363. I hope I'm correct with the figures. Yeah, yeah, correct. <laughs> Once again, you're welcome to the show. Thank you so much. And of course, I'm not, I'm not alone this morning. I have with me in the studio my colleague, uh, Angelo. Angelo, good morning. Good to have you, right? Good man. Yeah, it's always a pleasure. This is why you're smiling this morning. What's up? I'm in the presence of, um, let's say, the anointed and ordained ones. So and you know that you are going to be anointed. I'm covered. I'm covered. Uh, you're I'm going, covered. To, I'm going covered. to be blessed today. Of course. Of course. All right. Uh, quickly, let's start with you, uh, Sir Veen. Uh, I've seen you. I mean, I like what you're wearing this morning. <laughs> I wish you'd give me one. You brought one for me. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No, that's and the, the light. And, and the form, too. The form, too. <laughs> I hope I'm not going to pay. No, no free. Free? Yeah. Wow, that's good. <laughs> All right. Uh, welcome to the show once again. Now, let's start with you telling us the role of the night. Uh, in the church and also in our society. The roles that they play, of course, their responsibilities. I know that people like you, you have one or two things that you're saddled with as a responsibility when you were invested with the knighthood. Yeah, um, the role of the knight is very simple. And uh, from the name, you know, when they call knight, they say soldiers of Christ. You know, that is, um, uh, signifies uh, the the role the 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 knight plays in the church, they uh, they, they defend the faith, you know. So and uh, it's not just today, um, it's right down when the church and the 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 knights was formed for the first time. That was when the Islams were attacking Christianity, and uh, and uh, the knights assembled themselves and then um, was able to defend mm. the faith, you know. So, and uh, the, 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 this role has, right from that time, the knights have been playing such roles in different capacity anyway. You know, even right down in Anambra, you can remember during the time of Umbanuju, there was a time they have a conflict and they, there is a, a obnoxious policies. You know, the, the knights marched out and marched along the road to go against some of these policies. You know, so um, uh, even currently, um, the knights are also doing one thing or the other, you know, to make sure that uh, there is good policies that serve the, the, the church in terms of political uh, uh, areas are concerned. Even the church, they play a role to defend the faith. They also do some evangelical works, you know, in order to make sure that the church continue to progress. That's what we call communion Sunday. That is uh, when, during the, that um, within a prayer. That is the Lent period. You know, we'll bring out uh, one Sunday to go into the to the remote communities, you know, and then um, try to evangelize. So all these things are what we are expected to uh, to play as our role of as knights, you know. So and uh, I believe that uh, we have been doing that, and so many other things, including building of of uh, schools like the Veritas University. The, 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 the nice have been very, very powerful in the contribution that made that university to stand. And even in Enugu State, we are trying to bring up a secondary school now, uh, and it's, it's an advanced stage. Mm. And uh, these are some of the things that we think, because we know that the morality is going down, and if we can be able to get up a school that uh, well, you know, nurtured, then we'll be able to produce our children that are, um, have a very good Catholic faith. 
Okay. You know, so, so that's exactly what we are doing. In our commentary here, we are doing similar things, you know, to help the church, you know, we participate in most of the activities of the church and we also evangelize in our own little way. Okay, mm -hmm. so what are the criteria one was, must meet before uh, the, he or she can be made a knight? Well, uh, number one is that you have to be baptized in the church and, the, and the, um, you also have to be married in the church. Okay. You know, uh -huh. and that is, these are very sensitive areas of uh, our criteria. And uh, you, you, you must not have any, any criminal record. And uh, if we find out, then we will not allow you. You will also not belong in any secret society. If you belong to any security, we, if we find out, we will not, we will, we will not allow you. And it, most, most time we'll have some, some hindrances, you know, in terms of the quality of people we pick. Hmm. You know, in the night of St. John International, when you pick a form, we normally go for ban. And the, the intention is that we don't know that person completely. We don't know that person, but we believe that when we go on ban in the, in the local touch of that person, mm -hmm. that they will be able to really give us information. But most time you you find that um, that um, that um, um, people don't really come out with information. Even when they, when they will come out, it's very very late, and they, it will be a very complex situation for us. You see, so I want to use this opportunity to appeal to our public that um, once we come out with a ban and you have any any information about somebody, you know who is coming to become a knight. I, I think uh, we appear that people should come out with uh, such information so that we can be able to be, um, you know, guiding our intake. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> Reverend Father Uko, yeah. uh, please, uh, as a spiritual advisor, what role, are you part of the screening process of people becoming knight or you're just there when they become knight, you now take over as your spiritual advisor? Thank you so much. Of course, I'm part of the screening process. I'm there to represent the bishop, mm -hmm. and I'm the eyes of the bishop on whatever they are doing. So whenever somebody is interested in becoming a knight, I must be part of the screening, the committee that screens people. So when we come to the screening process, we, we must be thorough. Sometimes we go to the, the resident of the person to ensure that he or she is living in peace with the neighbor. Also, we go to the parish priest, and also the, we are the place of work and ensure that the person has no record or something that can mar the image of the knight. But we are human beings. Sometimes after doing some of these things, you find out that some may not be wonderful the way we think they are. So but we must do our best to ensure that we get the best. That because they are defending the faith. And before somebody defends the faith, the person must know the faith and practice the faith. So if you're not practicing the faith, we can't make you a knight. So I'm there to represent the bishop and also to administer the sacraments. So during the meetings, our administer the sacrament, the sacrament of reconciliation, the sacrament of the Eucharist, and other sacraments at the meal need maybe. Sometimes so, but those of them who are sick will visit them and anoint them and give them the viaticum. So that is the work of the priest here. Any age barrier to one becoming a knight? Uh, actually, there is Because no some people can, like you said, they need to be married in the church and stuff like that. There are people that are married at 25, 26. Does that qualify them to be a knight? Or mm -hmm. is there an age bracket you get to before you can become a knight? I can I take that? Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, I, I think uh, that there's no age barrier as such. Because, you know, we are following the pattern of, of, uh, of, of Joseph and, the, and Mary and Christ. That is a family setup. Mm -hmm. You know, so when we talk about knights, we mean the knights themselves. We mean the loss. The loss are the, the, our wives. Then we also mean the cadet and junior. Cadet and junior of children. Okay, your children. Uh, okay. No, it, 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 may, it may not be actually our children. It may be people who are under us or people who are Catholics of good faith okay. that wants to belong. Mm -hmm. you know, so it's not, but it's, they are not married. 
they are not married. They belong to cadet and junior. Okay. And uh, and uh, the, those are children of secondary, uh, primary, secondary school age, and probably sometimes up to the up to university. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, we carry it along. And when uh, you are married, and you want to, we don't take sing, uh, somebody who is single, uh, unless um, unless. That is a, a okay, special no, case. What um, about someone that yeah. maybe must have lost uh, the spouse? What happens? No, we, we, we have such people. Okay. Around us, so. Well, okay, uh, Father. Yeah. In the Bible, there were people that were on the other side when they met Christ. They were on the path of Christ, but from what you've streamlined here, it's like there is no room for repentant people to become knights, because you said all you need is people with impeccable character. So does it mean that those that are fallen can no longer become righteous and then be part of the, the night of St. John International? No, if somebody is living in sin, if you're living in sin, if you're living in sin, you can't become a knight because that means that we have not repented. You Maybe. said something about record, if you had criminal records before. Yeah, yes, if but you somebody have, can have criminal records yes. before and now be repented. And people have seen you that you are repented. Of course, of course you can take you. you. Oh. Take you yes. At that point, you are impeccable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yes. Oh, yes. So the oh, yes. have been forgiven. Yes. 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 <laughs> okay, now, what about a situation when uh, someone is a member of the St. John International must have derailed or did something that it's, un that it's, a, it's, not, it's unheard of? What happened? We have sanctions. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so if somebody maybe does something that is not... A, in accordance with our rules, mm -hmm. then depending on the gravity of the offense, we sometimes we give the person suspension, sometimes expulsion. Mm -hmm. Expulsion? Upon, yes, yes, yes. yes. Mm. And we we'll go through the ban yes. to expulsion. Wow. Yes, mm. uh, depending on what the person has done. Yes. Of all the laudable things you do, is it just limited to the Catholic faith or do you carry your charity to other faiths? The charity is, uh, we are serving the society. Mm -hmm. uh, but first of all, we'll do charity to those we know in the mm -hmm. Catholic faith. Then if there is anybody around that is, have, has need of us, mm -hmm. then we can uh, extend our charity to the person. But we need to confirm and ensure that the person is genuine enough. And that's what, that, why we we'll go through the Catholic, because sometimes we we'll go through the parish priest, we we'll go through the persons who know the, the person involved, mm -hmm. to ensure that we are giving to the right person. But it, when it comes to other faiths, we need to make some investigation to ensure that this person really needs what you want to give him or her. So we need to make investigation before well, and, we... And generally, to visit the prisons. And uh, when you visit prison, it covers all faiths. Of course. Uh, we go to uh, more or less... Be, uh, more or less be, uh, Community... Okay, one last question before we talk about the civic reception. Now, someone that is not of a Catholic faith, maybe by birth, but decided to join the Catholic Church and then have interest to join the knighthood, is that, is, is that possible for the person? Would it be possible for the person to join the knighthood? Yes, if that person has really been accepted by the church, you know, then uh, we will take them. Mm, if he has gone through the process of uh, coming back, to Catholic. And also mm. the person will be able to recite the Catholic prayers, just mm. like rosary yes. and so on. And we have a lot this, of them. Yes. So these are the part of things we ask during the screening. Okay. Mm. Uh, so the person is, a, is now living the Catholic faith. Exactly. So we can take the person. All right. Uh, let's talk about the civic uh, reception. What actually, uh, you know, informed the decision to uh, do this grand reception for his eminence right now. Just like I said earlier in the introduction that he was made cardinal last year, 2022. That should be August last year. And now we are in January 2023. What actually informed that? What would have expected that it would have happened last year? But we are talking about it uh, this year, 2023. So. Uh, what's really happened is that um, we, we have a sort, a sort of break within the period and when we resumed, uh, we still, it's like when you have an, uh, an assignment that you must have to do. Mm. Uh, anytime you resume, you have to carry out the assignment. So we know, I've been sure that uh, we, are, we are supposed to, to give a civic reflection to our, our uh, spiritual advisor because that he was. You know, before he now become a, a, a cardinal. You know, so but uh, when we had that break, we have to wait until we resume. And when we resume, we have to fix the date. And we fixed it with the with his uh, his approval. You know, we, our intention was to do it in even February, okay. but uh, because uh, he will not be around that period, so we took he gave us uh, 28th of January. 
you know so he, because he's our uh, former uh, uh, spiritual advisor okay uh, that makes him qualify for that and because of the role he has played in the society and the church so we have no option than to continue in that our plan so and that is why we are here can you tell us a little bit of what the highlight of this civic re uh, reception is all about well, um, we are going to start with uh, ushering him in, you know, in our form, because we know in the night we have what we call military, the military formation. So usher out our military to really do some what we call parade and uh, son manual, you know, uh, to give him the respect that he deserves. And we usher him and start with uh, a mass that is going to be in, um, um, the chief celebrant of that mass. And the, um, after the, so the mass, then we're going to the civic celebration proper. And uh, in the civic celebration, we, we, we are bringing most of our brothers that, and sisters that are really um, known in the society, like people like Victor Mayor Senator, distinguished, and distinguished um, 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 mm -hmm. will be also in the, in the program in the arrangements and the, some other people like uh, Honorable Ibida who these are our known members and many others too that are, are going to be in charge under the chairmanship of uh, Brother Sunday Oyego you know, you know, so that is, that is uh, the formation. Then uh, by the end of the reception, we we'll zero down by at least trying to do some little entertainment so that people will, will, will land. Of course, well. uh, what, <laughs> what, what, what kind of reception will go without <laughs> entertainment? <laughs> That's quite expected. So everyone coming here is expected to eat and drink and you know because mm. it's a civic reception. It's a mm. grand reception, it's so to grand, say. Yeah, grand yes. Grand. And then again, apart from uh, apart from the people he mentioned, that's the dignitaries that will grace the occasion. Are we also expecting other people? People like me, can I come for the event? That's the question. Yeah. Can we come? Of course. Yes. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's one of the reasons why we are here. We are here now. Okay. We you. No. So we expect ABS to come. We are expecting yes. the governor. It's not the night, but we are expecting mm -hmm. him and many other people. The living, the the people, the the, the intruding can okay. come in. Okay. <laughs> expect us then. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All of us are expected to come. Okay. And now, um, let's uh, also look at. We have. Just like you said, uh, it's the commandery four three four. Even though I'm not conversant with this, and You're then right. locks mm -hmm. three four three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what are the roles of this two, the commandery and the locks in this uh, whole uh, reception? Uh, well, the 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 commandery four three four. You have the knights and the locks uh, three six three. You have the ladies. Okay. You know. So and the, um, we are one. Just like I told you, a uh, family. We also have the cadet and junior. Okay, so they are, they are coming. When, when you mention this, three, when you mention this three group, you know you have now call up this complete set. So when you call night in night of Saint John International, you are referring to the knights, you are referring to the laws, you are referring to the cadet and junior. So they will all come there, and they have their different roles to Super. play. You know, and uh, the 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 laws are there to do some beautiful outing, you know, mm -hmm. they come with their own formations and their own uniforms, they are not, you know, and they have their own meetings and the rest of them, you know, so, uh, and the nice will be there, fully dressed, you know, so when we fully dressed, that is our highest dress. Mm. Your regalia. Our, yeah, our highest regalia. <laughs> um, you, you, okay. you, you said that uh, even the, uh, the governor of Anambra is not a knight, but he's invited. Yeah. Does knighthood, as in, can politicians, you understand, venture into knighthood? As yes. in, or do you have a limit to say, okay, the moment you're a public officer, maybe a politician, you can't be a knight or something like that. Is there any barrier as to what office you hold that limits you from being a knight? There's no barrier. Even the former governor of River State was a knight. Even the, the knight of John, John International. Mm -hmm. 
you know, so that we don't have limits. What limits you is when the church limits you by not meeting up with the, the church standard. 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 Yeah. Okay. So as a spiritual commander, do you interact with, let's say, a sitting governor is a knight. Can you call a sitting governor to order as a spiritual father? Of course. Mm -hmm. I'm, the, I'm in charge of the spirituality mm -hmm. of all of them. Yes. Whether you are governor or president, mm -hmm. I must call it to order when you drive. Yes. And so uh, that's my work. That's your yes. <laughs> so responsible. Yes, I'm <laughs> okay, uh, we'll continue with our conversation right here in the studio. Well, let's go for a short break to bring to you the advert. Yeah, to let you know the proper advert for the civic reception of His Eminence Peter uh, Berry Cardinal Obaleke. breakfast get smart for a great day how do i know because my daddy goes to his work feeling good and always with a smile mommy is always filled with confidence my sister is always in tune and for me learning new things becomes absolute fun That's because all day and every day the peak goes on start your day with a peak protein breakfast peak reach for your peak Great news for Anambra Broadcasting Service, ABS audience. You can now watch ABS television through any of these ways. Buy a terrestrial antenna and connect to your television. Search ABS Channel 24 Orca or ABS Channel 27 on each. Install Star Times Cable Decoder and search ABS Channel 113. Install Metro Digital Cable Decoder and search ABS Channel 29. Watch ABS TV on your smart TV or smartphone by downloading Anambra Broadcasting Service app on Google Play Store. Also watch via ABS Facebook page at ABS Radio Television and ABS YouTube page at ABS Television Orca. ABS TV is now also on satellite. You can watch us from anywhere in Nigeria and other African countries. Simply install ViewSat TV decoder or any other free-to-air decoder and tune into channel 0031. Whichever option you choose, stay abreast of breaking news, documentaries, children's shows, talk shows, comedy, sports, movies, and lots more on your darling TV station. For adverts and programs sponsorship contact 0803-388-8526 or 0806-883-9902 ABS Heartbeat of the East Ndianambra Unapotagola Ibolachi Good morning Ndianambra Welcome to Good Morning Anambra Breakfast TV Show on ABS TV Let's do it together Bia Kaido Okwa we serve it seasoning hot. Health and lifestyle. Security. Topical issues. National development. Entertainment and more. Welcome to the flagship show where we arm you with the right tools for the day. Keeping you abreast with happenings and information within and beyond the state. There are so many things to gain staying tuned to Good Morning Anambra on ABS TV. Happy. Good morning, Anambra. Live on ABS Television. Weekdays, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. All right, you're welcome back to the show. And uh, we've been joined by another set of guests this morning. Uh, Lady Josephine Okoli, a respected president, Los 363, St. Patrick's uh, Cathedral. Okay. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And we also have uh, Captain A.K. Mesia Dennis, the Chairman Planning and Organizing Committee, KSGI. That is uh, Knight of St. John's International right here in Orca. Welcome. Thank you very much. Okay, let's start with the lady. Ladies first. <laughs> lady Josephine, uh, the respected president of Los 363. Mm, you're welcome to the program once again. Uh, let's know uh, also the role that you are going to play, you and your team, 
are going to play in this grand reception that we've been discussing this morning? True. Um, you, like the, we said, we are ladies auxiliary yes. and we walk hand in hand with our brothers, uh, the commandery. So the, the ladies are really very involved in this preparation. Mm -hmm. We've done a lot of uh, arrangements. We are into decoration, inviting guests, you know, like you mentioned, uh, Senator Epidife, you know, inviting other dignitaries. Uh, the, just as our brothers are inviting people, we are also inviting. And then we have uh, made a series of uh, preparations uh, by way of um, um, entertainment yes, during the... Yes, mm -hmm. yes, by way of entertainment, uh, the whole thing is around us. We are really very involved and we are very happy that our past spiritual advisor is being received in our midst once more. So we are in, really, for the preparation. Okay. Is this red cap part of your dress code, or <laughs> the red cap, does it signify any other title apart from the one you hold in the church? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the issue of culture and dominionalism is also a part of the integral part of uh, knighthood. Of course, you know the church uh, revolves within the culture of the people, and uh, where the culture of the people are not in tandem with the, the, uh, the church, especially the Catholic church, such aspects of the culture will be removed. In Igbo land, tra uh, traditional institutions are accorded uh, enormous respect by the church and the title taking is also uh, encouraged by the church and uh, when somebody wants to take a uh, title uh, or during the ceremony the church the representative of the church the priest will go there and then either to celebrate mass or even be part of the guests so my, my own side my own title is uh, was given to me by my local government that is Anocha local government and that's why we always hear Mad Boy Bon Anocha. So that's the title I'm wearing. And of course the one given to me by the traditional ruler of Oka is also the second, who is also a knight of St. John International. So you can now see in the Oka commandery, we have a, a Oka Grand Commandery, we have about five, six traditional rulers, prominent traditional rulers that are members of Knight of St. John International. So you can see the integration of the culture, and tradition, and the church. And the church becomes the moderator of the culture of the people. Yeah. All right, let's come back to you, uh, Lady Josephine. Now, um, how do you, do you um, organize uh, seminars or meetings with your uh, fellow ladies of, of uh, St. John International, you know, once in a while to keep yourself together, bond more, and also, you know, uh, know how you can tackle some of the challenges that you're fit, uh, faced with as a group. Yes, we usually have monthly meetings. Uh, we go to um, look at our spiritual life again, listen to Word of God, and we take some readings from our spiritual books, and then uh, the spiritual books that we come to meeting with uh, individual members are called up to make some presentation. And then from time to time we, we have seminar. For example, we have just completed our seminar for the, the previous year, mm. and um, we are looking forward to another seminar. So we are really uh, very much involved uh, with the ladies. Uh, we don't even stop at that. We also move into individual families by counseling our ladies to be of good behavior, you know, being of, uh, submissive and uh, knowing their role as mothers in homes. We encourage them to avoid friction as much as possible and then take good care of your children. You know, and their brothers cooperate with their brothers um, for effective family uh, unity. So these are some of the things we do in that uh, meeting. It's not all, but there are so many things. Like uh, we say, we have the cadets. 
and then we have the juniors, that's the cadets for the boys and the juniors for the girls. And we encourage not only our children but other relations that would want to um, partake in that moral upbringing of the children. We do that. And this association is really very crucial. At this cru uh, critical moment in time, in the period of uh, economic uh, meltdown, things are really very expensive. We normally talk to our ladies, you know, uh, to devise coping strategies to withstand the economic recession we are going through. It's really very beneficial to our ladies and uh, we help them also to see how they will run their homes in the most economical way. Okay, still on that. So how do you handle uh, a best leading, let's use the word, a best leading uh, lady of the night? Ah, we go, usually go after them. Or we don't, uh, yeah. the Bible said that, Lord, let none of those that you have given to me be found missing. So when we notice that somebody has not been coming, maybe for two, three meetings, uh, we, we, the sisters are in, 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 in groups, you know, according to their location. Okay. So uh, the members of that environment where the sister comes will go and find out why she has not been coming. We might find out the problem, maybe he's sick or maybe some financial hindrances. And we don't normally hesitate, even if it means helping the sister to pay off some of the dues so that the sister is brought back. And then as six sisters, we go to visit them, you know. We extend our charity not only to our members, we even go beyond that. Like uh, we have just completed round of visitation of various uh, motherless babies' homes and uh, um, what do you call them, the prisons and other things, you know, where we go to share with them within the Christmas uh, uh, festivities. So we go after the bike, the sliding sisters, and um, try to encourage them to come back. But honestly, from all you said, I feel like being a woman to be part of what you guys do. <laughs> but now, down to you, um, Captain. Um, since you're part of the organizing community, the name Captain, please, what does it signify? Are you guys having a football <laughs> match and you're the captain of it, or is it just all about the organization of this grand civic event? Uh, thank you to try to relocate uh, that uh, angle because the uh, 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 night of St. John is International is uh, part of that paramilitary uh, organization. And I recall that uh, we are called soldiers of Christ. And as uh, soldiers of Christ and uh, part of the military, in fact, I belong to the military department in the order. And uh, I rose from the rank of uh, uh, first, uh, second lieutenant to major. He's not even captain. Now I'm a major. Yes, and uh, the ranks come as a result of performance and uh, as a result of contribution. In fact, this is the fifth committee, serious committee I'm heading. I headed the committee on the inauguration of Walker Grand Command. I headed the committee on the reception of uh, uh, mortal and uh, our team and also the first convention of Oka Grand Commander, among others. So they come as a result of uh, performance, and they are, this is uh, why I'm being ranked uh, now as a major. So it means you have other departments? Uh, yes, we have military department, okay. and then we have uh, social department, and social welfare, the education, and everything. Oh. So that's where you, you are. When, once you are discovered, because in knighthood, you must give out your time, your talent, and your treasure. So where you, where you don't have the, the, the treasure, where it's limited, then you do, you do more. Do, do what? You do more. For the, uh, to organize this thing under three weeks, is, you know what it means for me. I didn't even abandon some of my what I'm doing so that I'll be able to uh, achieve results. And that is part of it. So I put in my treasure, my talent, and uh, even my skill, and then intellectual property also. So and that is the contributions we are demanding from members who will be a knight. And importantly too, if you want to join knighthood, of course you should know that a lot of things will come out of you. Mm. Uh, sacrifice, discipline, uh, and so be a knight is not an easy. Of course you know you are not coming to knighthood as a saint, but a knighthood will make you to qualify as a saint. So and that is uh, very enormous. 
So my rank is uh, as a result of my achievement. I earned it. That is mm. the word. Thank you. Earned you. it. Wow. That's, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. All right. You made mention of uh, you being involved in uh, charitable works. And now uh, you, you've also talked about how you visited the motherless babies home and also the prisons, just like the previous uh, said told us. Now, um, how do you pick? Now, these are group of people or institutions that you visit. What about individuals that are in need in the church? How do you go about? How do you pick them, fish these people out to see in a, a way you can help to probably alleviate their pain or help them solve some of the problems they are involved with? You find that the, the members of the knighthood belong to different uh, parishes, and if you are in a, a parish that is uh, uh, maybe St. Patrick's or whatever other parish you are, it is easy through the various associations to know the indigent people in that parish. For example, uh, the CWO, the Christian Women Organization. Uh, will be able to know those indigent people. The men can also identify, and then other charismatic associations and uh, societies can also help identify them. And if really we identify such people that are really in need, we go out of our way to help them. Then sometimes people come from other denominations. Our, our um, charity does not end and start with the Catholic Church or members of the Catholic Church. There are people who come in from other denominations. Maybe they indicate, maybe they are not able to pay hospital bill or they are very ill or some of them come to beg. We identify such people and give them the necessary help they deserve. Okay. Captain, we are in no, the... Put no, Captain. Okay, sorry, uh, major, uh, major. No problem, Captain. Uh, captain is a consultant. No, major. No, I need to call I'm you. I'm not Captain Louie. <laughs> major, I came here. Yes. Um, we are in the political season now. Um, yes. Major, I came here. Yeah. What role is Knights of Saint John International doing? Since you said you have your your ladies and your cadets, what role are you doing as a group to sensitize? the young ones and even your sisters like you call because I didn't hear you make mention of husbands, you said brothers. Yeah, oh. Brothers and sisters. <laughs> brothers and sisters, right. you understand? So what uh, role do you, your group play in order to do what? Voter sensitization, you understand? Not just voter sensitization, but then for, for your younger ones to go and get their PVC and participate in the forthcoming general election. Yeah, thank you. Uh, 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 let me draw your attention that uh, Knight of St. John International and uh, Knighthood in the Czech Catholic Church is uh, uh, lay apostolate, apostolate. And then uh, being such, you are recruited or invited as a volunteer in the Lost Vineyard to do what? To work. And part of that work in is a political mobilization, political enlightenment is also a part of it. And uh, just as the, uh, the uh, president said earlier, that the members of Knight of St. John International are key stakeholders in the political activities, not only in Nigeria, even all over the world. And even in Anambra State, well, as of now, we have two senators that are from Oka Commandry, prominent uh, uh, members of the House of Assembly and the uh, 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 National Assembly are part of it. And then from there now, the political consciousness will now be emboldened and then uh, developed. And the key uh, officers of this uh, Night of St. John International, are, most of them are educated elites in the society. Narrowing it down to PVC. Of course, we belong to various uh, local government areas, various communities, and it is always the duty of the uh, night to show leadership by example in your community. And then uh, in some areas, in most areas I know, they encourage through mobilization. I'm living with the priest. Every church uh, uh, mass at the end of the mass or before the uh, uh, close of the mass, announcements will be made so that people will now be aware where to collect their PVCs. Particular area, especially when they were moved to the wards. Uh, at, at the end of uh, every morning mass, 
announcement to be made. Go to this place, they have moved to this ward A, ward B, and collect your PVC. Even in most cases, the police will even bring out that PVC to show you, because it's a ticket, it's a license for you as a citizen that you must have it, not only to cast your vote, because emphasis is casting the vote. Do you know that that PVC is your identity card? you can use to do some tra transactions and then to help you to also assist you. So it's very important and we are critical segment in mobilization. Of course, you should know that the knighthood is a, a, bit, a bit of uh, elitics. Uh, it brings you out in a society and then it commands an authority that people will listen to you. I think you, you know that. Mm -hmm. And once such a command is given by implicit personality like you, people will say it's a gospel truth and they will do it. They will obey you. Yeah, it. Any educational qualification one must have before you are inducted or you are made a knight of St. John's? Yeah, that is ability to read and write. Especially ability to read and comprehend your Bible, your readings and everything that qualifies you. You see somebody that is a person since the elementary season, and it does better than a graduate. Sure. You know that. Mm -hmm. So it's this level of your education may not be by you, but the level of your enlightenment and uh, what? Uh, the three R's I have mentioned, uh, the T's I have mentioned, your talent, your treasure, and uh, your time. Your treasure, your talent could be part of that education uh, enlightenment. I think uh, my sister is uh, an educationist, so that is part of my talent. My vocation is uh, uh, charity work, which you know, and, mm -hmm. and uh, some other things. So when you get all of them together, you see that a knight is an emboldened member of the society. And at times people com com uh, confuse that egalitarian uh, nature of a knight to be an arrogance. All right. All right. Um, back to you, lady. Uh, let's talk about the grand reception. Uh, when is it happening? What's the venue of the reception? And also uh, the things uh, we are going to expect. Uh, okay. I think the, the planning committee chairman will also add his one, one or two opinions to that. Yes, the civic reception has been scheduled to take place on the 28th of this month, 28th of January 2023, that is tomorrow. And uh, the preparation is really very elaborate, it's a grand reception. And I think uh, virtually everything has been put in order. You know, the, the nice, we are, we are never taken on our ways, we are prepared. So the civic recession will take place in the KSJI Hall, Knight of St. John International Hall, located within the St. The Patrick Cathedral. That is where the reception will take place. And the mass is at uh, 10 o'clock. So we expect people to turn out a uh, mass and uh, participate. Virtually everything is set okay. and we are hoping for a successful reception. You're hoping for? A successful... Okay, success, yes. of course, of course it's going to be. So, our yes. chairman planning committee. Well, we are 95% ready and uh, I, I want to say that boldly and uh, because we are ready and that's why we have put up the, post, uh, the posters in various locations of the state to uh, inform the people of what they are doing. And that's the essence of this uh, uh, media contacts so that people will be aware and know what we are doing and what, how to participate. And uh, the, the grand finale of it is uh, the military parade that will uh, inspection of God of Honor, mounted in mountain of God of Honor that uh, the, the cardinal will inspect and then um, it's a very military some exercise and um, of course it's your it's, department it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's lovely yes and that's where you see a knight you know that is a knight because he's part of that uh, consciousness the other side of it is just what my sister said that uh, there are a lot to eat and a lot to drink and uh, i think we are ready with their uh, support we'll be able to tackle some of these uh, uh, angles that are leaking you know, finance is very important, and mm. uh, finance come as a result of uh, free will donations by our members and members of the uh, knighthood, and then sponsorship we have received. In fact, let me use the opportunity to thank everybody that uh, already contributed to the progress of, uh, especially the funding, and uh, the, the president and the respected president, uh, they are part of it. 
So I can I am I okay. So the more we are, the more they give us. So uh, that that is uh, what the Bible said. Ask it shall be given to you. But Oliver Twist, I will still ask for some more so that we tidy up uh, most of these things. And we are also expecting you our uh, partner in progress, uh, BST and others to come and chronicle what is going on because uh, the fifth uh, cardinal in Nigeria is not a small thing and we are seeing it because it's for our own and the youngest among them all and mm. uh, we should be proud in that number that uh, we are having two out of the five in the Nigeria we are having two and then the latest one a very young man that uh, eager to work and if you see him if you admire him and you know that uh, really he deserves to be honored by us and that's why we said the beauty in the guy in a beauty that's what we call them they gave us a nude and then we are recruited on just under three weeks you will come tomorrow and see one of course of course uh, we pray that it's going to be a successful outing tomorrow and on that note we want to say a very big thank you to you lady uh, josephine okoli for joining us on the show this morning thank you and also to you major Okay, Missy, thank you so much for being part of the show this morning. And that's a great thing. I wish you all of us a happy, successful new year. You know, I've not seen... Okay, since yeah. Year. Okay, and, happy new year uh, to you. that God, uh, with this uh, celebration we're taking off in the year, and that's why I'm thanking them that we're starting the year with a uh, very good note of uh, reception, appreciation, prayers, uh, what again, uh, praises and other things. Mm -hmm. So, okay, men, men are uh, St. Patrick's uh, Cathedral tomorrow. tomorrow. So, so, you are invited, all, all of you. All right. Yes. And we also want to say a very big thank you to uh, the other guests that just left before you people were talking about uh, Sir Veen Utipa, the water president. Uh, uh, 434, right, uh, Commandry, and also Reverend Father Levi Uko, the spiritual advisor, Commandry 434 and Lost 363. Thank you so much for also being part of the show uh, this morning. Of course, we pray that it's going to be a very beautiful and successful outing tomorrow at St. Patrick's. My name is Chidima Oranwa. Have a lovely weekend. Wish you the very best of weekends.